<laughs> cool. Well, thank you all for being here. Um, um, we're excited for this. If you didn't know, we're doing this as an office as well, so we're doing this all with you for those that are doing it. So um, we've all done it multiple times before, so um, um, or something similar to. So that's what we're here for. We're here to help you, encourage you, help along the way. Um, for those that are new to this, it'll, you know you'll you'll learn some things. Um, and you might ask some more questions, but uh, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you, all right, and uh, give you the encouragement you need, the resources that you need, so you know what to do, how to do it. You don't have any questions, that'll be what today is. But if you do, shoot us an email, give us a call, and uh, we'll be happy to help you with it. So um, I just want to say thanks for being here. I'm excited for it, and I'm going to turn over to our registered dietitian, Alex, to uh, teach you all the way, all right? Let's give it up for Alex. I'm excited. I've been pumping you guys up. I'm excited to do it. Tell Dr. B. I need it as well. So some of you have been through um, a similar detox. Some of you have never heard of a detox. So to break it down, the most basic, um, I've been telling you guys this, but it's not something where you're only juicing and you're fasting and doing this and that and the next thing. You're eating the whole time. We're going to have you eating the whole time. We have had the boxes out and we'll go through everything that's in the box. Um, but we need you to eat. That's what your body needs, right? So why do we detox? We've got all kinds of build up and things we've been eating and things we've been putting in our bodies that just hasn't been broken down all the way, right, and still hanging out. So we're going to try to get rid of some of that to make us feel a little better, get a little more energy, some better sleep. Um, for those of you that have done it before, could you agree those are some of the, the things we feel when we detox? Perfect. So uh, we made a little um, guide for you guys. There are, if you're getting a box, there are booklets in there. We're not going to follow the booklet that's in the box. That's why we printed this out for you. Um, but like I said, we're going to be eating the whole time, and then there are some of those supplements. So what does the food look like? So if you want to eat, you know, all your meat and your protein and things, you can have as much of that as you want. Just make sure there's double the vegetables on your plate. Right? So if you're going to have an 8 ounce steak, you better have 4 cups of vegetables on that plate with you. All right? <laughs> um, and that's really the most efficient way and the best results you'll get is if you cut it back to meat, vegetables, nuts, things like that. You know, cutting out the sugars, cutting out the dairy. Um, but there is a guide in here and it's in those little booklets, but I've printed it on all of your, um, all of your packets for you. All the food groups and kind of some substitutions you can do that are better than others. So I'll go ahead and give these to you guys now so you can follow along with me. Dr. Brandon came. Thank you. Um, so as far as the foods are concerned, there's a couple things on there um, that we modified a little bit. Um, but do with it what you want, right? We're going to go with, um, for the food groups, meat, poultry, fish, and legumes. So having chicken and turkey and lamb. This has rabbit if you're adventurous <laughs> on there, right? Having fish. But we're going to cut out um, red meat. We're going to cut out beef and pork for our six-day detox. Just because those are uh, more inflammatory and we just want to get rid of those right no off steak. the bat. No steak. No steak for six days. Um, and then as far as dairy products go, doing milk substitutes. So almond milk, coconut milk, um, not the dairy, cow's milk, um, or cheese and things like that. Again, it's another inflammatory uh, response that your body gets from having some of those things, so we're gonna cut those out for a few days. And then it does say on here for starches, bread, cereals, um, we're gonna cut out most starches, but there are a few good ones on there that a lot of us live by in our last detoxes, like sweet potatoes, right? Um, and there's some different kinds of grains and things in there, but if you can cut those out all together, that will be much better off for you. Any recommendation on a whole grain cereal? Like a kashi or something, or what? You know, cereals aren't, there isn't really a good cereal out there because of all the things they have to do to make it a cereal. Mm -hmm. um, but if you get um, gluten-free oats, like a hot cereal like that, or... Um, and look for gluten-free. Yes, that will be your best bet, is gluten-free. Any other things you can think of, Dr. B? No, that would have been, yeah, what I would have recommended, yeah. Perfect. And then vegetables. Eat all the vegetables. Eat all the vegetables you see. <laughs> right? You can never get enough of your veggies. Um, Just no canned vegetables, huh? So with fresh and frozen and canned, fresh is always better than frozen, is always better than canned. So let's go with canned as a last resort. 
Um, I buy what I can fresh, but it's just my husband and I, and we can't eat it before it goes bad, so frozen is usually our go-to. And there are great frozen options, as long as they don't have the sauces and the salts and the sugars and everything else on them. No butter. Um, so with butter, we're going to talk about our healthy fats, but yeah, butter is good to go. Our olive oil, we're gonna, we can eat that raw, and uh, coconut oil is usually what I cook in if I'm not cooking in butter. So there are some healthy fats there, and we encourage those because we need those fats. So great question. Um, fruits, if you can cut them out, that would be preferred. But if not, you know, just keep your fruit intake down. Um, it does say whole and fresh, unsweet and frozen. That's a long list, right? So just having an apple, having some grapes here and there, um, if you'd like. But if you can keep it out at all, that would be more beneficial to you. So any questions with those food groups? Salt and pepper allowed? Yep, seasonings are allowed. Um, any herbs and spices and things like that. I wouldn't go, you know, overboard with the salt. But Himalayan sea salt, yeah, that is a great. It has other minerals and things in there. So if you're cooking with that, you'll get any other seasoning we can use. I mean, yeah, use any type of seasoning. Yep. And someone did ask today about um, taco seasoning. They were asking just out of curiosity, and a lot of taco seasoning isn't gluten free. So if you really do want to do gluten free, they have. Um, gluten-free taco seasoning packets, or you can make your own. You can get on Pinterest and there's a hundred different ways to make taco seasoning. So that's a, a really good uh, fallback meal, is a taco bowl. So like for your sweet potatoes, what if you want to put the cinnamon, for example, on it? You can put cinnamon, cinnamon and butter. Okay. Yep. Yep. That would be good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And then um, it has soups on here, so broths, bone broth is a great one. If you've never had um, the bone broth out here, that's a good option. And if you want to make your own bone broth, again, Pinterest has tons of recipes. What it is is you're um, cooking the chicken bones or beef bones in, um, in water with some vegetables and some seasonings for 24 to 48 hours. So you're getting all that good stuff out of those bones so you can make your own or get some bone broth, and that's a great option for protein. Fills you up easy, helps your joints and things like that. Lots of good options for broths there. And then as far as beverages go, if we can cut out, you know, pops and sweet teas and things like that, that will be the best. Um, water and herbal teas are great, great options there. And you're going to have your um, OptiCleanse in your boxes that we'll talk about, so you'll have those as well. And then um, we were talking about fats a little bit, oils and nuts. So Olive oil you want to eat raw because when you cook it, if it reaches that smoke point, they turn into trans fats and that's the opposite effect of what you want from your fats. Um, so we're eating that raw. Our coconut oil we can cook in and our butter we can cook in as well. Um, depending on, some people don't like that coconutty taste, so use the butter, but that is good there. And then um, most of your nuts and seeds, as long as they're raw and not roasted and honey roasted and chocolate flavored and all those great things they put on nuts nowadays. Just get the dry roasted, you'll be good to go. And then sweeteners, we do want to stay away from that category. So artificial sweeteners, um, and then it mentions like stevia and things like that. If we can steer clear of that, again, you'll just get uh, better results that way. And then condiments. So condiment aisle at the grocery store is like the danger zone, right? Everything has sugar in it in the condiment aisle, so it is best to just avoid that at all costs. But you can um, season your vegetables like you season your meats. That's what a lot of us found out, right? So um, instead of using sauces and things like that, just season it, and you'll be good to go. Any questions there, food groups? Anything to add, Dr. P? Perfect. So let's talk about what's all in this box. So I'm going to open one of them so we can see everything in it. All right. So first thing um, to do, we're going to start tomorrow, if you'd like to start tomorrow, um, for four days before the detox. So there's little um, schedules there with how to use everything in here. But starting tomorrow, we're going to start using Drainage, which is this bottle of drops and it is six drops, not six droppers, six drops um, under your tongue in the morning, six drops under your tongue at night. And it does say um, before or 30 minutes after food or toothpaste. So doing that twice a day. I don't always put it in my cranberry drink. I said that was okay. Or do you need to put that separate? It would be okay, but um with that, it's going to be best absorbed if you do that under the tongue by itself. Okay. Yeah. 
And then, what, um, what's, that yeah. for? what's the drainage? So the drainage um, is for breaking down that those, uh, that gut buildup like we are talking about, and it helps with fatigue, headache, sluggishness from eliminating those types of things. And then our um, probiotic, our ProBioMax, we're going to have one capsule per day. You can do it in the morning or in the evening, um, but this is a super powerful probiotic. Everybody loves this probiotic. Um, and you need that healthy gut bacteria to help you along, and that it would be this. So I got questions. Yeah, there. of course. So mm -hmm. if I'm currently taking uh, some probiotics, I should just stop taking. Yes. And what about other supplements that I might take? Like, um, I think what it's called. Oh. Could you just cut those uh, out? Milk those? thistle. So any other. Yeah. Any yeah. oil, all that yeah. Stuff. If there's something, if there's something you're taking that just really helps you in your health, that you know you would go backwards without, you can continue with that. But ideally, anything else you can cut out. Um, this has omega two, right? Yeah. So, um, so yeah, there isn't. Other than if you have some vitamin D, you could continue that. Um, outside of that, I would discontinue everything else and just do this for the this period, and then you can re you can okay. add those back in after. Okay. Yeah. Good question. And then the very last one we're going to start um, tomorrow are the colonics tabs, so two at night. Um, and this helps with bowel regularity and supporting that healthy um, gut system there. So two of these at night, and we'll do that the whole time. So does all of that make sense? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we're going to start all that tomorrow. And then the only thing you're going to do differently when we start on Monday is we're going to add in our OptiCleanse, so our liquid, oh, maybe. Liquid gold, because it is gold colored, it is so bright yellow, <laughs> it has <laughs> turmeric in it. Um, so our OptiCleanse schedule is at the very bottom of this page, and the way that we're going to do it is we're going to ramp up to do maximum detox and then ramp back down. So if you look at breakfast, day one you're going to have a shake, and then day two it'll be breakfast and dinner, days three and four, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then back down. So it does say on there that you're having a shake for those meals, but you're also eating also eating okay so don't um, this is a meal style replacement but it is how many calories 240 calories so you'll probably still get the munchies when you have it so eat you know eat something with this as well and if you want to eat those vegetables because this is your protein source that is what I prefer to do so, and you've got a nice little shaker bottle in there to get it all mixed up do the water first it's 10 I do about 10 ounces of water and then two scoops of the OptiCleanse is one serving, and then shake it real well. Can you tell you how many ounces yep. you mix it with? It, it does, I think. Yep. Briskly stir it's two little scoops into 10 to 12 ounces of chilled pure water. And you guys have a lot of tips and tricks how to make it taste the best, but... Um, hey, can we hear some of the tips? <laughs> yes, of course. Let's share some. For those what, of us that yes. have done this before. <laughs> of course. Who wants to share what they've done with theirs before that they really like? I put mine in my blender, and then as it's swirling, I drop ice cubes in it until it gets sort of thick like a good milkshake. I just like that thickness better. I use coconut milk. Coconut milk? Mm -hmm. I am playing Jane water. Instead so of water? Or? Yeah, instead of water. Okay. Just to keep that shaky. Okay. But it is very thick, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like I don't like it thick, so I put the 12 or even 14 ounces of water so I can drink it thinner. So depending on the consistency, you like it more or less liquid. I put cinnamon in it, nutmeg. And we're allowed to use cinnamon. Is that okay? Yeah. And I make both together? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> or pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice I have done that before. <laughs> Someone, um, I forget who it is, uses um, orange essential oils in it. There's a certain flavor, but it's vanilla flavored, so it'll yeah, be. Yeah, and it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't taste. I like the taste of it. Like, yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty good. So. Yeah, but, it's yeah. not bad at all. But if you wanted to switch it up, my sister did hers with blueberries in a blender, but that's just way too much work for me. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't go the extra mile. <laughs> Does that all sound good? So you said cinnamon and what? Cinnamon, so nutmeg, <laughs> pumpkin spice. Those are the, the main ones that people okay. tend to use. Thank you. You're welcome. Do we have any questions? No? 
So Alex, that book, you, I know you talked about that book in there, and it looks like it's so shiny and it has all this great <laughs> stuff in it. How much, how much of that should I pay attention to when I open it up? <laughs> in this book, we are only looking at page 8 and 9, and I printed off the Page 8 and 9 for everybody? So if you don't even want to look at this book, you don't have to. Um, the only reason I say that is because they've got, they do their six day a little differently than we, we like to, because we want to get you, you know, feeling better faster type of thing. So we're not going to follow this schedule. There are some um, OptiCleanse, yeah, OptiCleanse recipes in here for different things. But again, that, that's a lot of work to do all that. So <laughs> we're not going to look at this unless we're on page eight and nine. It's shiny and beautiful and well made. <laughs> Perfect. Are and then I connecting in any way or sharing recipes with somebody's user? Yes, yeah, so I added you all to a Facebook group today um, that we're friends with Dr. Natalie. So if you weren't friends with Dr. Natalie, and I think there were a couple of you, and I'll let you. Yeah, okay. Um, we'll have you add Dr. Natalie, and we'll put you in the group. And it's just a closed group for, I think there's 14, 15 of us total that are in it. So we can share recipes and. If you're like, oh man, it's Monday and I'm hungry at lunchtime, what do I do? And people can give you snack ideas and things like that. Um, so that'll be our community base. And then um, we'll start on Monday with the OptiCleanse schedule and go through. Um, and on Saturday is our open adjusting hours. So if you guys want to come in and celebrate being done with your six day detox together, we'll be here celebrating. Yes. So, how much water should I drink? Is it important to be hydrated during the <laughs> Yes, you should say Shame well, he doesn't <laughs> well hydrated. So, the, the usual recommendation is half your body weight in ounces. So, if you weigh 100 pounds, you're drinking 50 ounces. If you weigh 200 pounds, you're drinking 100 ounces. Um, but keeping consistent water throughout the day, yeah, it's important to stay hydrated or else that makes you sluggish too. And we don't want any of that for you. So. Is the lettuce on here? Yes. Yeah. Any vegetable you can think of under the sun is on the list, I'm pretty sure. And yes. Continue the cranberry juice. Yes, if you want to, if you're still doing your cranberry drink, mm -hmm. definitely. Is vinegar still... and oil on you? Yes. Vinegar and oil is okay. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. I'm trying to think of what other you can put on your salad besides vinegar and oil. That would... Yeah, balsamic and vinegar balsamic. is usually what I use. Yeah. yeah, instead of buying a balsamic vinaigrette, someone's asked about this today. Vinaigrettes usually have sugar and added things in it, but if you just get the balsamic and the oil, you can mix it real well. I found a great dressing, and you have the Whole Foods now. It's Tessamese balsamic, and it has no sugar, no dairy, no gluten, no soy. How do you spell that? T-E-S-S-A-M-A-E. -S -S -E. It's in the refrigerated section near the produce, but it's a really good dressing. Yeah, right by the like the alternative cheeses yeah. and the yeah. packaged lettuce. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'll do it Thank you. Yeah, and a lot of it in um, in preparing, you'll probably be in the grocery store for a while, reading labels, making sure um, everything that's in there. But if you have any questions, put them on the page. We'll answer them for you. Call in, take pictures, text us. Um, we'll get you the answers you need. Once you found the group, it is Exodus Health Six Day Detox. Okay. Yep. It is, it is. Then almond cheese is not here. And the dairy and the, eat the dairy products. And I believe this maybe in the don't eat this because it has some casein. Um I do see rice right cheese, but mm -hmm. I don't see almond cheese. Yeah, I don't know what the other ingredients in Almond cheese. Yeah, it has casein. It has casein in it. Unless you meant to stop it on foot. Yeah, that'd be a, a good idea. If you're going to get rid of dairy anyway, get rid of that. Yeah, the, and if you want to, over the next four days, you know, take a little bit away at a time. <laughs> so, say, you know, you have your, your Diet Coke every day or something. Maybe tomorrow, cut out that Diet Coke. And the day after, we ditch the pasta and the day after we get rid of something else. So that you're not, if you don't want a cold turkey Monday, go down and get the vegetables. Take away a couple things each day to build yourself up there while you grocery shop. And I'm going to do a video on a Facebook group on Sunday of my meal prep. So everybody asks me, what do you do? How do you prepare all these meals? So I'm going to go to the grocery store, show you guys how easy it is, put it all together. 
Um, and you don't have to make the meals that I make. I'm really boring and plain. I do chicken and broccoli every single day, and I am perfectly happy with that. So, um, but just how to put that all together so that you're equipped to go to work, and there's holiday parties coming up, and all kinds of things, and um, how to pack that. Tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Christmas holiday party is next Friday, and I'll be December is Friday. It's all here. <laughs> And if you want to go to, I'm sure at any store, but at Target, I know they have them. They're Ziploc bags, and they stand up tall, and they, um, they're called, like, portion Ziploc bags or something like that, the Up and Up brand. They hold one cup, but they perfectly hold the two scoops of OptiCleanse so that when you dump it over into the shaker bottle, it doesn't get everywhere. So I use that when I travel and take it places, if you're taking it to work or anywhere. So that's a great option, too. And then we, I remember that we, I, I asked you about um, the plantains. Mm -hmm. you, you told me that is considered as a fruit. Mm -hmm. but I'm glad to see yucca here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that it's not mixed with the, but like with the plantains. Uh, yeah. With the plantains are like okay. I treat it like a banana. Yes, <laughs> treat it just like a banana. <laughs> I know they're good. <laughs> And what do I do after the detox? Do I continue <laughs> anything? So after the detox, you will have um, colonics left, and you will have probiotic left, and I think you'll be out of OptiCleanse. Um, you should be out of OptiCleanse, but if you happen to get a couple extra scoops, you can continue with that, and we have it all the time here for you. But the probiotic is a great one to keep up with. Um, the colonics, would you do that you do until it. the bottle's empty? Yeah, you do that until the bottle's empty, and then if you want to um, ramp up your supplements, we have a med pack that has the probiotic, the D3, and the omega in it, and that's what we call our Exodus Essentials, and that's just what everybody needs. Everybody's deficient in D3, everybody could use an omega, and everybody needs a probiotic. So after the detox is over, um, and you want to get those, we have those in stock all the time too, and we can get those to you. Okay. I'll be out of my regular med bag tomorrow. Okay, we'll get you But in. I'll just get it next week, and that's no problem. Yeah. Because that, I think we have the probiotics here, yeah. but then the omega-3 and the D3, that can wait until I finish. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. For a few days. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Do you continue the omega? The you can if you have it. Yeah. yeah. You have your omega and your D3. You can yeah. continue those along with yeah. this. And then Question. what about... What about a multivitamin? Is there a multivitamin in there? So your OptiCleanse is your multivitamin. It's your protein and your multivitamin. That's why we love OptiCleanse, because it's all packed in there. Two scoops a day gets you things that you're not going to get by eating 10 bags of carrots, right? So um, your multivitamin is packed into your OptiCleanse perfectly for you. Cool. Any other questions? Comments? Carrots are okay, right? Yep, all vegetables. Oh, yeah, lots of carrots. <laughs> <laughs> lots of carrots. And if you, Brendan was telling me, I've never done this, if you roast carrots, they get sweet, so they're like a, you don't have to add the, my parents always do brown sugar and butter and carrots. <laughs> if you just roast them, they get their own sweetness to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long? <laughs> I don't know. I'll do it with a roasted carrot. Yeah. You go to Pinterest, you can find a recipe for anything. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah. I would say like 375, probably like 15 minutes. Yeah. Would be my, my guess. I can continue blending. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Blending it in. Yeah, I'm too lazy to cook yeah. it. So I just put it in a blend it. And yeah. I got my vegetable portion every time. I'm sure that I get it. Yes. Perfect. Very good. All right, well, we can get you your boxes. Remember, shiny book. We're just going to put it for now. <laughs> Thursday through Sunday, we start the. Yes, Thursday through Sunday. Yeah. 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 Yeah.